What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Radio Lab Podcast, laying out across the earth and never around. My Bobby's still looking at you live, loud and proud on the station that rocks the nation. Still Savage Radio. Yeah. And on the line here, we got the Pastor Robbie Reckless. We also got DJ Jams. And our very, very special guest, all 12 inches, Mr. Jim Carlson. What's going on, Jeff? <laughs> What's up, brother? How you doing, man? <laughs> Oh, dude, we are trying to survive on our side over here, man. With this weather coming up here right now, right. Uh, yeah. So we have to get you on a little bit early here. We've been having a a, a karate show, a lot of kicks and chops through here in the beginning. <laughs> we love karate. He was oh, a man. Yeah. Gotta, love <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that karate. You know, when DJ Jazz when he gets all uh, drunk there, he tries to do karate there, but I don't know, man. Those water <laughs> balloons end up hitting him back a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I got a barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah, barbecue sauce. You know, DJ Jam is from the Carolinas there, so uh, he's got that vinegar-based bar- barbecue sauce there with a little bit of weed in there, so it's some pretty good shit there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it'll mess you up. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's Jim awesome. Carlson, we man, the, we, uh, I, I was, uh, we were talking a little early here, man. And uh, you were saying that you were in the lovely, lovely area of Las Vegas, New Mexico, or Las Vegas, Nevada? <laughs> Nevada, baby, Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> what it's all about, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, well, you know what? Uh, thank you for joining yeah, us here. You know, uh, you know, I had a little unfortunate uh, incident with the family uh, this past Monday there. You know, family only calls you uh, when they need money or when they need help. After about five years, we're not talking to you, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Couldn't they done that? <laughs> yeah, you know. Usually, the, the only time they ever call you is if I can get mad at you when you're partying. You know, what? You're still drinking again? Uh, yeah. The next time they call, you, I need some money. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's the story. Man. You know, Robbie, Robbie used to do that to me too. You know, a couple of times at the bail him out. You know, so but. It's <laughs> <laughs> all good. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what, man. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Robbie. No, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Well, you know what, guys? What I was going to say was, uh, you know, uh, what we're going to do here is uh, all the people are listening right now. We have, you know, we have about like 700 people listening here right now, you know. Uh, not usually what we usually have. You know, we usually have quite a few more here right now. But I want to thank all our fans out there in the audience for listening in right now. Again, uh, we're going to be uh, doing this interview here and then – we're going to go ahead and go offline here. We're going to pre-record everything and then put the show, the entire show back together like a puzzle here at about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. So. Awesome. But yeah, <laughs> the weather is just fucked up out here, guys. So. Hey, how's the weather at over there with uh, DJ Jams there? Because uh, Jeff Carlson said uh, he was interested in some of that barbecue sauce with the weed. Oh, rain, rain, and lots of rain. That's all we've had. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're under a flood watch and all that for the next couple of days. I'd rather it be snow, but can't have it all again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, you know what? Uh, um, you said that you were growing up in Missouri there, man. What's the what's the heavy metal scene like in Missouri before you uh, went out to Vegas there? Oh, man, we had some great bands there. We had a lot of fun. There used, used to, I used to have a band called China Blue. I played with for a while. Um, that was one of my first, ro- uh, first like real, real original bands. And uh, I had a uh, there's there was a big band around Springfield uh, run from called uh, Naked Zoo. They were cool guys, man. I used to play with their bass player Brian Lawson. And then I had another band called Open Fire, and we, we toured all over, man. It was fun. It was good, man. It was it was it was a good time, a good place, man. I got some real, real great friends back there still, you know, and and. Um, you know, it was just time for me to do my own thing, you know, and um, I'm out here in Vegas, and and um, long story short, I got, I played with, uh, I, I, I came out here in, two, in uh, 90, 1998 originally, and then uh, in 2006, well, I, I formed, formed a band called uh, Liquid Sky, and the bass player and guitar player of that band, I'm still playing with now, so um, yeah, so we, we just... I moved to Tucson in 06 and then moved back here last year and then uh, hook, re-hooked up with the guys and, and I got a solo deal from Potomac Records. A friend of mine um, that runs the, runs the label, he's a he's Brett Michaels' drummer, Mike Bailey. He's a great guy, man. 
it's a distribution deal, but it's a really cool little little outlet for me, you know, to release stuff. So, yeah, we're just doing our thing, man. We're getting ready to do it. Uh, we got a new single. We did, we're getting ready to release on February 26th. Um, called so long, and then uh, we got a, a, a five song EP. We're get we're we're in the studio right now. We're in the same studio that Ozzy cut in out here. It's a place called the Hideout. It's killer, man. It's really like one of the best studios in the world. It's killer. Hey, <laughs> cool hey, stuff. Yeah, I got I got a question for you. Since you're uh, from Missouri and you moved out west now, uh, does your songwriting kind of change because you know you're from Missouri now? You go out west. That influenced your writing any, you know, any at all? Not really. Um, I, you know, the, the, the biggest thing that influences me is, is I try to write, you know, I, I grew up in the 80s and 70s and 80s and, you know, bands like Lillian Axe, you know, um, early Bon Jovi, not after Slippery, but before Slippery, <laughs> you know, yeah, early I'm Kiss, <laughs> early... <laughs> early kiss you know that's uh that type of stuff you know i mean it, 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 i mean a lot of it's classified hair metal or whatever people want to call it that i don't know why people call it butt rock that used to piss me off i'm like really what <laughs> why why would you call it that <laughs> whatever <laughs> but i think it's a good song to me slam it ten thousand times you know that that's my thought from that man put their heads in the, in the door and slam it ten thousand times because they deserve it <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like whatever. So yeah, man, it's all good, man. I just, you know, I, I'm just, you know, I get I get influenced by just different bands that I grew up with, and you know, a lot of the newer stuff. I like to, I like to listen to the production ideas they they have, like people like Six AM, you know, DJ Ashball. He's a badass guitar player and great producer. Um, all that type of stuff. You know, I mean, I listen to some of the production those guys are doing, and I try to. You know, right from the heart, but yet use updated production. You know, so now your style. I don't want to. Your style is great. You're from the '80s to the, to today, has it changed much? Or are you still pretty much in that same groove? Uh, I think the the vibe is still the, the same, but it's not. Doesn't sound like a 1985 demo. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. <laughs> gotcha. You know. Yeah, yeah. today's music's a little different from the '80s and the '90s, but yeah, you, know, you still got it deep in your soul, and that's where it's coming from, you know. So hell yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, no, uh, you know, it's all so you, when you were when you were jamming out in Missouri, there, man. Um, how, how's the scene like uh, uh, touring up like the East Coast area, going up uh, up that way compared to going up the West Coast over here? You know that's a good question. Um, I've I haven't played East Coast like it a long, long time, man. I it seems like I mean, like band wise, I mean, it seems like there's a lot of great bands um, on the East Coast. The musicianship is really killer, and on the West Coast, it seems like you know there's there's good bands. I'm not saying there's not good bands, but I don't know, man. It's just I guess it depends on, on, on who's playing, you know? I mean, that's kind of a hard question to answer. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, well, I mean, like, as far as, like, crowd-wise, I mean, I'm, is it still the same as everybody just rocking out, or is it a little bit different? People uh, are uh, partying and, and everything and, and with different songs and stuff like that, or, or is it just all rock and roll all around over there? Yeah, People respond to different songs, you know. I mean, it, it depends on again. It depends on the club you're at. It depends on you know what's going on in that specific town that night. I mean, if you got a major event going on that night, you're less likely to get a crowd. You know what I mean? So I yeah. mean, uh, it you know Tucson's a great partying place, man. Those those guys know how to rock it down there, you know. And um, a bunch of a bunch of, a bunch of Mexicans and Native Americans down there, motherfucker, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we like to do, man. Crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> and plus, no, I, I, Tucson, I can tell you this, man. You know what? Uh, that place is fucking hot, hot, hot. I think it has a little bit of humidity, extra humidity. So to me, uh, Tucson is a little bit worse weather than, than Phoenix there. So. <laughs> well, it doesn't, it doesn't. It depends. You know, Phoenix gets, like, more humid than Tucson does, believe it or not. It, now, Tucson gets humid when they've got, like, the... Um, 
what do you call it? There's a certain time of year, like they have like it's August or whatever, August, September. You know, I think that's um, the time I was there, it man, gets man, really humid. The mountain, that mountain does get snow, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> and once that once that comes off there, man, I'm telling you, man, Tucson is is crazy, man. You're trying to eat an In and Out burger, man, but you just can't swallow it, man. You're just spitting it up. <laughs> it's kind of like a it's kind of like a DJ jams there on wedding night there. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? So, uh, when ahead, did you Bobby. first uh, light your guitar on fire like Hendrix? <laughs> light my guitar on fire? Yeah, no. I don't make enough money to do that just yet. <laughs> Maybe someday, not right now. <laughs> well, if, if you put a slot machine, yeah, yeah, I, I, I heard that uh, DJ Jam's got good credit, so uh, yeah, we, we'll put it all on him. <laughs> oh, that's <been> a short <laughs> hey, yeah, I, was talking, uh, I was talking to Vince Vatican last night. He's from Ohio. He's up here in the Sandusky area. And he says, you know, uh, doing the rock and roll thing and working full time and trying to make a living at it, it does get expensive, you know? So, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you that's your equipment. I'm sorry, say that one more time. Yeah, uh, rock and roll full time and working full time. You know, it does get expensive, and you guys are out there doing that. So, you know, you got to protect your equipment. He was telling me he had some pedals taken right off the stage, you know. So, oh, damn. Were... Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's right? right about that. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, we've, we've got uh, old vintage marshals and, you know, I mean, stuff. We try not to, you know, I mean, we're trying. We're, we're in the studio right now, so we haven't worked. We're not playing just yet, but we're trying to get out and actually start playing. Usually when we play clubs, man, it's going to be bigger clubs, you know, like House of Blues and, and uh, you know, Counts Vamps here in Vegas and BLK Live and Scottsdale and places like that. I mean, they're usually, the security's pretty tight on those places. So, I mean, that, that's usually a, a good thing to have, you know. Some some clubs are just, you know, brutal like that. It depends on the club, usually, you know, but still... Yeah, it, it is expensive. <laughs> now, no doubt, the, the no Vegas doubt. scene there, is there always a gig there every single night there at, at the casinos there? Or is there other places besides the casinos there in Vegas that you could rock out at? Well, there's both. There's both. Um, there's two different kinds of bands. You know, there's what I call the casino band, which, you know, playing cook covers, four sets a night, six nights a week, you know, that type of thing. Which that's not what we are. Um, we're just an original band, and I'm trying to get on shows opening for for headliners. I mean, there's other venues like you got you've got the House of Blues, which is in Mandalay Bay out here, which is its own room into itself. You know, it's not an actual part of the casino. I mean, it's in the casino, but it's not like a lounge in the casino. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's like a concert venue. Those are the type of places we're trying to get into. You know? Hell yeah! So, you know that's, you know what? Uh, one of our uh... Um, lead stations there uh, out of Denver, Colorado, that the audio asylum there, uh, Scary Billy Directory, he always had a, a, a theme of himself. He said he hated cover bands because he said, why can't you just go pay that extra little money to go watch the original people who started that song instead of, you know, go watch the people who are dressed up like the person and singing the songs that they wrote, you know? And I always laughed about that. Right. And it's, it's kind, of, kind yeah. of true of what you're saying here right now, you know, because, uh, Granny, you know, some of the bands, the, the tribute bands, kind of sound better than the original bands. I hate to say that, but, you know, it does happen like that sometimes, though, you know? Oh, yeah, totally, man, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to go on the lips say Kiss Army, man, because it seems like Kiss Army is bigger than Kiss right now to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only reason Kiss is as big as they are right now is because they're, going, they're doing the end of the road tour, you know. Which, uh, oh, man, hey, the more end power to them, of the know? road. <laughs> 15, right? It's like Jason coming back. I don't know. Hey, that, that's like yeah. Friday the 13th, you know? You know, Robbie can't Well, I got to side with Eddie so... Trunk. <laughs> I got to side with Eddie Trunk on Kiss, man. You know, to me, Kiss is Ace and Peter and Dean and Paul, not Dean and Paul and the two impersonators. You know, that's just me. But whatever. <laughs> well, you I know mean... what? For, for me, I, I, I think Kiss is, is hot in the shade, man. 
<laughs> to me, that's their best album, man. That was a great <laughs> tour. Yeah, I saw them on that tour with Slaughter. Yeah, that was killer, man. They kicked ass Dude, on that tour. Well, Paul, that Paul's album, gross, man. He's doing... He's rough, and he's... I feel bad for him, because he's just shot, and he's doing everything he can to just, you know, give it one last shot, which is, I, I got to give him credit for, but he's not deaf, you know, it's like, dude, you're hurting, bro, <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly, you know, you know, what I, mean? You know what? I mean, you gotta admit, though, you know, uh, Gene Simmons, you know, as much as people hate him, dude, he's a marketing genius, you know, oh, he is, well, Paul is, too, they're both really, really smart when it comes to marketing, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm not. Only, I don't want to sound like I'm. I'm bagging on him. I don't want to make, make it sound like I'm <laughs> talking negative because I'm not. I'm really. I don't mean it like that. But at the same time, you know, it's like, um, well, I don't know, mean, man. You know, at the end of the day, more power to him. <laughs> you, know? you know, if me, uh, DJ Jams, and uh, uh, um, Robbie Reckless here, if we all decide to trademark the heavy metal. Horns there, dude. We're going to get a lot of press there, man, which means a lot of people are just going to tune into the YouTube, tune into iTunes, just to listen to who the fuck we are, you know? <laughs> what is he yeah, plan with exactly. that part? Is he I think a lot of people uh, uh, try to take, they took that too seriously, you know? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Well, Gene <laughs> comes off as he's, he's real serious, you know? I have a buddy of mine that, that is imperfect. You guys ever heard of a comedian named Kurt Gass? Is he kind of like, uh, like, 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 uh, Name Kevin Kevin Wright or Michael Wright or some of like that with a really dry sense of humor with a straight face. No, no, he, no, he's really funny. He was on the Gene Simmons uh, roast on Comedy Central, and he does Gene to a T. He's so funny because he'll sit there and go, "I can't do Gene's voice," but he'll go, "This is Gene Simmons of Kiss." Like nobody knows who the hell Gene Simmons is, you know? It's like okay, yeah. <laughs> it is hilarious. <laughs> I've got I a do, personal okay. message you left, baby. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, dude, you know what? I mean, it sounds like you've got, you know, a wealth of experience here, man. Uh, first off, uh, we kind of got to a rabbit trail with Kiss. They were giving him a lot more money than they have right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, where did Jeff Carlson start from, man? Where, where, did, you, where did you grow from, man? Where, when was your first band there, you know? I mean, because I think a lot of people want to know where that is. Where you started from? I started off. I started off in music when I was, I was 12 years old. First band I had, we didn't really even have a band name. It was me, three other guys, and they were all older than me. And we played We're Not Gonna Take It, My Twisted Sister, Too Young to Fall in Love by Motley Crue. And we played, what was the third one? I think it was Smoking in the Boys' Room by Motley Crue. And man, we that second place to a baton twirler. <laughs> 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 uh, I think a lot of DJ Jams. That was probably DJ Jams there, man. Was, I think that was DJ Jams there. <laughs> <laughs> but after that happened, I got the music button full time, man, and I started like hunkering down on guitar, and I started singing with. I was 14 and sitting in, in bar bands with guys that are my age now and, like, playing Don't Tell Me You Love Me from Night Ranger and, like, uh, Rock of Ages from Def Leppard, you know, New Girl Now from Lenny Moon Sweets, you know, stuff like that. It was cool, man, you know, and it just from there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you guys yeah. were you guys hit the road? Say that again, brother? You guys get out of the studio, you guys going to hit the road? Yeah, definitely. I, I'm trying to get uh, stuff lined up right now. You know, it's going to take a little while. I gotta, I gotta, get the, you know, get product out there and get it done. But once it's done, I'm definitely going to uh, start putting together shows. Definitely. That's going to happen. I'm sorry. Are you guys uh, going to head out to the strip out there in California? Play, uh, oh yeah, play? man! Absolutely. Dude, you gotta tell us some stories about yep. the strip, man. I mean, now that this Motley Crue stuff is coming out here with the dirt there, <laughs> I'm sure you you saw the strip back in the '80s, dude, when it was a fucking live, full in effect, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I remember. You know, what's funny is I I grew up in you know Missouri, and I can re I I and I haven't come out to Vegas till '98. So prior to that, I all I knew of LA was. When I read Circus Magazine and Hit Parader, you know what I mean? 
I saw <laughs> yeah. my player growing up and meet, meet my idols and shit. That was really cool. It was like, wow. Some are cool, some are. It depends on who it is, but yeah. <laughs> but it is cool to just see people you grew up with, you know? Yeah. So. Well, you know what? It sucks when when that happens, man. Because you know what? Uh, I, I'm a big dirt track racing fan there, and you know what? This year, oh, cool. uh, well, last year, 2018 dirt track racing there, a lot half of the people that I used to idolize and memorize, I wanted to knock them the fuck out, man. Because some of them are just fucking dicks. I was like, God damn! Don't ruin the sport for I know. shit. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> well, Brett Michaels, he's he's a big dirt track man. He he races bikes. I mean, oh, I shit, man, we should get Brett Michaels around, on here, man, around. because, you know, we would, that's yeah, the thing man. I'm trying to do here, man, because uh, I think dirt track racing is dying here in the West here, and we have a thing called Dirty Tires Racing that we try to do live videos from, uh, we do interviews, like, every week, too, coming up here in March here, and we try to keep it alive, man, but we just need that one, that one persona, that one person there, just to say, hey, come on down over here, you know, which will attract yeah, a man. lot of people. That would be awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Well, Brett, Brett, would, Brett would bring a huge-ass crowd, man. <laughs> that would be fucking bad, yeah. dude. And you know what? I, I think we can get Robbie to dress up here in a little bit of uh, brawn thong there just to uh, entice, entice him here, man. What, what do you think, Robbie? <laughs> Hell, yeah, man. I'll get out of the shower for Brett Michaels, man. <laughs> 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 That's crazy, man. So, Jeff, you know what? Again, we went up to our, our rabbit trails there, off to Robbie's side there, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? This new album good, coming man. up, man. <laughs> uh, uh, this new album coming up here right now. Uh, song you have out so long. How many songs of like that fucking kick ass on this album, man? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, we've got. We're releasing a five song EP. That's our next one. And four of them are this plan. And the fifth one is kind of a mellow, but not, it's kind of like a Zeppelin type vibe, you know, but yeah. it's not like a full blown ballad, but it's not, it's kind of like in between, you know, it's like, it's, it's cool. It's called shine. Um, but yeah, Dude, um, that's but not our, our next good. video, our next video is going to be called screaming inside. And that'll be from the new, New new one that we're gonna release. Oh, some of the older stuff that some of the older stuff that I heard here, uh, this one here so long kinda has a different feel to it already, man. Yeah, right on. Cool. Yeah, man. man. That's gonna be killer, dude. Right there, I'm sorry. Go ahead, brother. Yesterday, yesterday, you know, uh, when when I was doing the, uh, the the promo for it there, you know, uh, when we were at the at the job site there, you know, I, I, it was funny. I was playing up in the lumber yard there. You know, all we had was a bunch of elderly people there. You know, elderly meaning a bunch of native uh, elders there who didn't speak English there, and yeah. a lot of uh, uh -huh. Mexican people there who, who didn't speak English there either. And they were all fucking rocking to. Jeff Carlson, man, I couldn't stop laughing because it always happens. I always tell these guys, you know what? Little do these people know here at, at the lumber yard, you know, because they're all, you know, country folks. Basically, they don't know who's playing over the intercom. You know, they're hearing some of the best shit ever, but they will never hear them again, you know? <laughs> yeah, right? Because, you know, Hopefully that's, they're that's making. cool shit there. <laughs> hey, uh, well, yeah, know, man, yeah, right on. <laughs> You gotta come down here to the to the Navajo Reservation, brother. You gotta come out this way, man, toward Gallup, Albuquerque yeah. area, man. You know what, Albuquerque? Yeah, man. Reason, I, I've tried to break into there. It, it, it's a hard scene to break into, man. There's there's only a handful of promoters, and, and if you're not on top of that that pecking order, it seems like you just get pitched off to the side there. You know? Well, that's that's anywhere. I mean, say the same about Vegas, LA. LA is really bad, <laughs> but I bet, yeah, dude. not just bad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's all, it's a numbers game, who you know and how many people you can bring in. That's sort of, at the end of the day, that's all they care about, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, all you can do is get out there, put your stuff out there, play and play and play. That's about the only way you're going to get out there if people know you can start breaking crap. So, so. but, you know, I, I don't want to play to, not that I, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to belittle any of the clubs that don't advertise, but a lot of times these clubs, man, they, they book a band on a Monday night, and then when nobody shows up, they blame the band. You know, and it's like, well, uh, yeah. you got to <laughs> kind of yeah. work with us here, you know? <laughs> that makes you mad. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes some oh, yeah, bands show on a Monday, yeah. they, they 
fucking rock. You know, they rock better than Friday and Saturday night, you know? <laughs> right, right. Hey, I've done that before, too. Yeah. Hey, man, this new song you got out, it's fucking rocking, man. It's tight and right. And, uh, it's Thanks, just man. Fantastic. Appreciate it. And I heard, I heard you say you got like five other songs on that album that they're slamming, too. You got any ballads on this album, or it's pretty much just, well, uh, hard well, this- rock and roll? Well, the, the way that the way it's gonna break down, bro, is I've got this, this song you heard, the new one called "So Long," um, that's coming out uh, February 26th. That's not actually released yet. It'll be out on the 26th as a as a new single. And then we're still in the studio cutting the five songs right now, um, finishing up on them. They're not done yet or or anything like that. So it'll be probably end of March before we release that. Once yeah, that's exactly. done, you guys will get copies of that. There's there's one ballad on there. Um, it's not a ballad. It's not. It's not really a ballad. It's more of a. It's the song I was talking about earlier called "Shine." It's kind of like an in between. It's got a it's got acoustic, but it's got a faster beat. You know what I mean? So you'll, you'll know. You'll know what I'm talking about when you hear it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much yeah, it. Right there. Uh, back in the '80s, you know, they did a lot of ballads. Uh, Poison did. You know, all, all the '80s bands did. Oh yeah. Them, and, uh, you know, I kind of missed that today. They're hard to find, man. It don't seem to be good. <laughs> well, yeah, that was my too, first you know? single. Bitch, did, you guys, you know? did you guys hear my first single? You guys heard my we first single, Never Be Another You, on Tommy? Oh, yeah, it. yeah. No. I have it gone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what? Find it here. We'll definitely get it on here today, man, for sure. Yeah, yeah, my first single was a ballad, so I think you guys will dig it, man. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah that was a time like when you almost too? light people's hair on fire with your big... Uh, lighter, you know, because I remember down, you know, on the floor there, you know, at the concert at Tingley Coliseum in Albuquerque, New Mexico, there, I don't know how many times people, hair almost caught on fire, you know, because everybody <laughs> had the lighters. I mean, there's well, always one drunk motherfucker. That, <laughs> yeah, that was know, one, right? there was always that one drunk motherfucker in the background where a lighter, he's, he has it up in the air, but he brings it down to take a toke, right? And all of a sudden, somebody's hair is right there. <laughs> <laughs> Never fails, dude. Yeah, now, now people are using cell phones, man. It's less, <laughs> it's less flammable. <laughs> what, what, what's your thoughts about that, man? I gotta ask you that. What's your thoughts of people with cell phones at concerts? You know, are you a Corey Taylor fan, knocking people's phones at their hands, or are you say, hey, fuck it, it's there, it's there, might as well use it. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what? Hey, I, I ain't knocking anybody's cell phone out. I, ain't, you know, I'm not about, you know. Pay attention to me as far as that goes or whatever. I don't know, man. I just, you know, people want to use it more power to them. I'm, I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm just happy for the support at this point. You know, <laughs> shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just think, you know, something like that. It kind of pisses me off, though. You know, I mean, the, I mean, we all work hard to get that fucking cell phone because cell phones are as much as a fucking car these days. So even more than a car, you get the fucking iPhone 10. Right. It's fucking twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. You know? You're still gonna make payments on I it. I know. And you got some guy knocking I it know. out of your hand. You're like, ah, oh, shit. You know. <laughs> well, if you're gonna do that. Gonna do that you need to replace it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Or I think they need to offer insurance for the tickets there. You know, insurance for concert tickets. I know, right? That's what these people. I know. So hey, you know what? Hey, Jeff. Uh, um. <laughs> Where can, where can everybody out there in Radio Land Podcast Land and uh, Navajo Land and Ute Land, where can they all uh, listen to your music at, brother? Um, go to jeffcarlsonband.com. Uh, it's actually jeffcarlsonbandepk.com. Um, but you can type in jeffcarlsonband.com and it'll still come up. So, um, yeah, there you go. Um, it's got, you can pre-order my new single on there. As well as my old, my first single, Never Be Another You, you can order that, too, on there. And, um, yeah, man, that's that's the place to go. Sign up on our mailing list, too, because uh, when we start touring, I want to get everybody's, you know, let everybody know we're coming to your town, you know? Hell, yeah, that's going to be awesome. What, what social media sites are you on besides Facebook there? Uh, we're on Twitter. We're on uh um, if, 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 I tell you what, go to my website and um, we're on um, Instagram. We're on all of it. We've got all the links on my on my website. Uh, uh, can you give us a, the, your website? Is that jeffcarlsonband.com? Is that what it is? Yeah, jeffcarlsonbandepk.com. Okay. Awesome, guys. You guys heard that there. We'll get that up on our Still Savage Radio Facebook site and also on our Twitter and also our Instagram. We'll, we'll be posting that up here shortly, too, as well here, man. Hey, you know what? Uh, what about uh, 
Real quick here, you know, before we uh, let you go ahead, we got a little time limit here. Uh, Mistress Veronica said that she wants to spank you and gag you there. I think the next time we'll save that for you, right? <laughs> Because <laughs> we, we want to hear the response, and we okay. actually want to hear you talk with her. <laughs> no, I'm good, man. Today, got to say a shout out to my wife today. Today's a 10th anniversary. So. Now, is that love or is that love much. there? Miss Carlson, is that love there? You turn down uh, Veronica there and go with you. Happy 10th anniversary there, brother. Hell yeah. You're not Thanks, the knockout man. tonight, bro. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> I, I think if it was me or Robbie, we, we would have said, hell yeah, bring it on. Nobody's listening. Yeah, let's just do it. You know? <laughs> That's our mentality. That's our, why our steel savage radio. Fucking savages and shit, you know? <laughs> That's so, good, hey, man, man. you know what? Uh, can you let our audience know out there, uh, when's your next gig coming up here right now so people can go out there and rock with you with this new uh, single that you got coming out? Man, I wish we had something booked right now, but we're, 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 we're in the studio right now just finishing up our stuff, so... Um, I'm I'm working on it right now. So as soon as it gets up, as soon as we book something, go to my I'll, I'll put it on Facebook and I'll put it on my website. And you guys can check it out. All right, cool, All right. dude. So, that, yeah. that'll be that's gonna be uh that's gonna be awesome here. You know, we're gonna go ahead uh, today here. We're, yeah. Uh, uh, with your permission that that you uh, gave us yesterday there. We're all our older, elder Navajo Native Americans that were rocking out, plus the, the Mexican nationalities that are rocking out at the Lumberyard. We're going to play that single here for you guys, too, one time here. And then we'll wait till the 26th here. We can play it again. And also right behind that is going to be your very first single there. We're going to be playing, too. Never be another you there. So yeah. we'll get those both on. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank we're rocking you guys. out here, man. As we say, rock out with your fucking cocks out. Woo! <laughs> like we do here, brother. Like we do all the time, man. So you know what? We gotta have you back on the show, man. We got definitely gotta have you back on the show when uh, that EP release, that, that album release, there, man. And uh, we'll definitely do Absolutely. all we can to fucking uh, get the Jeff Carlson band out there, right? Because right now, a lot of people, Appreciate you know, it. are missing out on some good fucking music here, man. I mean, there's some of the stuff out here in the underground scene, like I said, you know, I was talking to you earlier, you know, it's better than what you hear on the on the FM scene. And some of it is actually better than some that you hear, like, on the serious scene, too, as well, because, you know, I heard there's a little bit of money involved getting on those type of shows, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's so, I don't yeah, know, you know, you gotta, I mean, again... You, 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 <laughs> Yeah, you can <laughs> refinance your house and shit. Refinance your iPhone. Man. I know. That's what you got to do. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly you know, right. Kind of hard to get I need 500 hey, you know, plays for 20 grand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I never knew it was like that. Yeah. Oh, shit, man. Now, see, if we ever to do that over here at Still Savage Radio, it would be uh, give us 500 cases of beer. And they will think about it, yeah. <laughs> yeah <exactly. laughs> uh, all Milwaukee, right man, because that shit is what? ten ninety nine a case? We'll still take it. <laughs> <laughs> all right on. Hell yeah, guys. All right, guys, you know what? Uh, you got any last words there, Jeff, before we get to your new single here? No, I just want to thank everybody for your support, man. And, you know, I'll see you out there. Thank you so much. Hell yeah, oh, man. Yeah, we look to have you back on the show, man. Hell yeah. Again, guys, coming up here right now is going to be the brand new single here from the Jeff Carlson back called So Long here right now. Only on the station.
Ready, people. Prepare yourself. This is the lunch hour. That one felt like my dad.